Hello everyone, this is Evo and welcome to this AFK journey video. So welcome back to yet another Arena Team Showcase. So it's been quite a while since I last did an Arena Team Showcase and that's because of obviously Song of Strife came and there was a lot of contents. So recently Supreme Arena just dropped and people started to DM me with regards to Arena Team ideas. So here we have it, one of the most original Arena Team idea by yours sincerely, Zebo, right? I call this Z Store Team. So just a bit of backstory before we start talking about the team and then talking about uh, how good it is offensively and defensively. This team came into being because in the seas of Sicilia, OD, as well as uh, Iron Carolina in the older meta, um, I was losing a lot. Right, every single day I get beaten up in arena and I got super frustrated. So I was like, okay, since I'm not winning, right, I might as well waste my enemy's time by fielding really annoying unit to just stall teams out, right? <laughs> just stall the timer out, just drag out the timer. And when it first came into mind in this account, if you guys take a look at the tanks, right? I do have a torrent. I have a bunch of tanks built up. I don't know why I have a bunch of tanks built up, but my original tank in uh, this account was actually Granny. So Granny is a really really good tank in terms of stalling because her ultimate not only controls the enemy but reduces their energy which prevents them from doing anything. Granny also has the ability to slow down the haste of the enemy while recovering and taunting them which diverts attention away from the other unit so it's really really good. And then you throw in two of the best wilder supports Damien and Huwin. Yeah, just a lot of heals, a lot of control, a lot of sustain there. And then we have uh, Skalita, right? Skalita is there to bridge out the affectional bonus. And the idea of using Skalita at first was really just for her shields. Like I could easily use any other tanker, but I think Skalita is just better because Skalita later proved to be an amazing carry for the team because Skalita has the ability to just insta kill enemies. And when you play against this team, right? If you cannot kill them, you get outstored. Right, you're just gonna get out of store. And if you try to kill them too fast, you might not have the heals. And then that's where Skarita comes in. And then Skarita will slam the floor and your low HP, and then suddenly three or four of units just disappear. So that's the power of Skarita, especially on this map. And uh, the last unit is actually the carry unit Rowan. So you guys must be wondering, Zip, are you crazy? Rowan is a support. Why are you calling a uh, Rowan a carry? So yeah, Rowan is a support by tech, but I'll say Rowan is actually the key to glue everything together. Rowan is the key to glue the whole concept of stalling all together because yes, the units have insanely powerful stall abilities like um, Danny's Root, um, like Hewin's heal, damage reduction, Damien being massive heal as well as the ability to do damage and Skarita slamming the floor left and right for additional stuns and controls. Yeah, it all sounds really good on paper, right? But to effectively be really really annoying you want to be able to use all these abilities repeatedly you want to be able to use these abilities faster before your enemies can do anything so for example let's say if Danny is able to use the ultimate before the opponent's tank or the opponent's front line the opponent's tank or the front line will lose energy and then they can't do what they want to do right so that's where Rowan comes in he's not just a healer right his role is not just a healer he's also a buffer with the potions he's also the ultimate spammer allowing your team to just spam the annoying skills as much as possible so he is the carry of this team even though he's a support tech but i think if you don't have row one you can definitely still run you can obviously throw in Arden, right you you fill up the factional bonus give you more stats and gives you more damage and more control but i think you're losing the idea of stalling like you're losing the idea of just being really annoying to stall out of battle so yes i i think rowan is the carry and uh, it's one of the original idea for this team because i when i first started building this team the core was actually like this so this team is also the i'll say the top uh, best deficit pushing team because sky does insta kill is insane and uh, the ability for Rowan to just give a massive potion to the to the tank and the front line to keep them alive is insane. And uh, one of the hurdles, right, that I had to occur when I first started this team building was how do I counter OD? Because OD is still very very strong against this team, right? OD is still one of the counter. <coughs> OD is still one of the counter for this team. 
and uh, OD, if you do find an OD in your arena bracket, you might still lose to an OD. But if you take a look at this, right, Granny's biggest weakness is obviously the fractional disadvantage. And because Granny is not exactly like a unit that can rush to OD and then kill him fast, so this unit is actually very weak to OD. So here we have it, we're going to throw in our dear Rowan because the potion is going to keep you alive. And if the potion is not enough, how about us throwing in Damien? Right, Damien's going to give you more heal, how are you going to die? And Damien has the ability to broke out Odie's ultimate as well. So uh, in a way, it's a battle of whether or not the OD can actually snipe you before your healings, before your sustain kicks in. And obviously, another added layer of healing is from Skalita shield as well. So this team is able to take on Odie's team if your enemy's OD is not overpowering you. Right, there are cases obviously Ori still got to steamroll you, but um, yeah, this team definitely can handle a lot of different teams and can deliver some very surprising results. Obviously, it's not the most free to friendly because as you guys can see, my Skarita is not even Supreme Plus, but even without Supreme Plus Skarita, this team still does the job really well. And if I have Supreme Plus Skarita, I think I will do better against OD teams specifically or even Mauler teams in general, right? So that's it. That's the basic introduction for this team. The artifact of choice that I use for this team is Confining Spell, obviously to control them, to imprison them and then just thaw out the battle itself okay so this is this team i'm going to run through uh some of the battles i had okay with this team on the offense so you guys can see for yourself so over here i had a victory let's just do the replay for you guys to see the power of this team so this is this uh arden iron skeleta team which i think it's i think it's gaining popularity but i'm not very familiar with the team yet so i'll wait until i have a clearer picture how this team run before i do an in-depth review but for my side as you guys can see right i have so much sustain i have so much heals i have so much controls that i'm not dying and because uh danny is on the front right when she uses the ultimate whatever frontline unit or whatever units on the front line is going to get control so if the enemy is using skaleta the skaleta might come into the range of danny and then get controlled and that's where skaleta comes down and then smack my opponent's unit to the back line as you guys can see and send them flying so offensively the ability to fight back is through skaleta defensively right skaleta is not just a tank She's also a staller because she has stun as well. But let's say if you want to use the team offensively, you will definitely need Skalita or you need Arden. You need some sort of offensive power because you cannot win on the offense by stalling, right? So you need some offensive power. So if you don't have Skalita, you can definitely use uh, Arden in the mix. And as you guys can see right over here, uh, despite Skalita dying, there's also this possibility where Confining Spell, Damien, as well as all the other units combined together, might still win you the battle so i'll just go at two times so you guys can see one disadvantage of this team is that this team consumes quite a bit of time <laughs> because it's not exactly the fastest team and usually your battle can easily go up to one minute if your enemy is not bursting you fast enough so it's not exactly the most pleasant to watch for the battle records itself but that's the purpose of this team the purpose of this team is to be annoying is to waste time <laughs> so yeah this this battle took nearly 80 seconds okay and then i have another battle where i actually lost so i'm gonna showcase to you guys so there's this possibility that um you will lose to crazy torrent and iron pools and stuff like this one which uh, you guys will see later so everything is the same i'm, I'm just stalling out the uh stalling out for skaita to come down and then i'm healing rowan is cycling the enemy uses a heal okay but my team is not losing hp right you guys can see my team is not losing hp because of the sheer amount of sustain i have for the team and then skaita comes down okay skaita slams the floor didn't manage to bring anybody out and okay we send the iron out from here Okay, but then over here, Huin uses the ultimate, okay? All the units are really, really healthy at this point. You guys can see the power of this team, right? This team is just healing, 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 sustaining, sustaining, and then like, you know, what can you do? You know, if you don't burst, you don't bring down the core units fast enough, you're not winning. But that this is the point where like, you can just lose to this sort of torrent bullshit like like you guys see over here. Like, because all the units will be coming up together, right? So being 
very immobile all your units are together and then torrent being a very popular unit just gonna use the ultimate store a lot of damage and then slam dunk you from there so that's something which is going to be something you see i'll showcase maybe one or two match later on against different team setups so you guys can um sort of uh see the power so yeah i i lack the firepower to finish him and that's why i lost so next i'm gonna fight against another iron team right yeah iron iron everybody's using the iron team by now the iron skalita oh cannot fight this guy okay we'll fight against this iron team for you guys to see so at the top of the meta where ptr is where we have a lot of time to build up our units um Iron team is pretty much everywhere. It's like the built-in team. So, like I said, if you have a team and you want to call it meta, you kind of have to beat the iron standards. If not, you can't call yourself the meta team or you can't call yourself the anti-meta. So for this one, right, um, I'm going to showcase the usage of uh, Arden in the team comp because uh, I want to showcase the, the potential uh, variations that you guys can run if let's say you do have skalita or you find that skalita is relatively unstable this is one team setup you guys can run so without further ado let's start the battle okay so over here we have the four wilders faction we are lacking the iron repositioning but i think we can make it up with sustain we should be able to heal so you guys can see everything is still the same we're just healing up right my team is just not losing damage and then that's where uh, Arden's uh, damage comes in, right? So Arden benefits from all the controls that we have. Uh, benefits from Confining Spell, benefits from Granny's Ultimate. So Arden's able to deliver Ultimate pretty fast. Okay, so my team, you guys can see, is still very, very healthy in terms of the HP. Whenever it starts losing HP, you have a bunch of heals coming up. And this is the problem sometimes with uh, this team against Torrent is that they crop a lot together or more specifically iron pulls everyone together and because they're immobile they kind of die pretty easily so yeah okay starting to fall apart over here unfortunately okay so this is one problem that um faces the team right now yeah like basically the iron Arden core is really really powerful and there's a lot of rng involved but that's that okay but this is one way you can use uh Arden to replace kalita in the offensive side um okay let's just take on this guy once again take on this guy uh, let's see i think against this comp it's gonna be really challenging for arden okay i tell you what uh we will switch out the idea a bit we will not rely on full store we will go more on offensive side and let's start the battle okay so sometimes uh i think uh, you can change out the team idea to to be more offensive by nature because if the enemy has a lot of store as well it might not be the best for your team because uh you're gonna get outstored right like in terms of uh, what you want to do is if you can burst you burst if you can't you store so in this case i kind of want to burst before skyta builds up steam because the skyta is still in the air blocked by all the dark clouds and then she's gonna come down and if i have a numbers disadvantage or rather if i'm fighting five on five right, i'm actually losing because the sky type is just so powerful when she comes down yeah so that's one problem where uh like if you can't kill people fast enough then sky type builds up all the stacks and stuff you might just lose so that's pretty unfortunate okay so same thing is you guys see like you're lying to a lot of the torrents and you're dying to skalita as well so that is one thing which i think this team faces as well sometimes you just don't have enough firepower but uh, you can also pray to rng jesus in terms of uh, praying for a lucky skalita hit so later on, i'll fight the same guy but this time around I'm going to use my Skalita to showcase the Skalita magic. So that's why I always call Skalita the Skalita magic because Skalita can go either ways. Sometimes the Skalita is pretty shitty, but in other times, Skalita is insanely powerful. Okay, so I'm going to showcase it. I'm going to get two times. So there's one problem with this team. As you guys can see, <laughs> the, tight, the, the battle is never shorter than 20 seconds, unfortunately. Okay, so let's go into another round. Let's see whether I can find this. Yeah, we have same guy over here. So I'm going to go back to the Skalita call. I'm going to go back into the Confining Spell Control variant once again. Okay. And then we see the results. I will pray a little bit to Skalita God. Give me a moment. Okay. I can hear Skalita's going to win me the match this round. Okay, let's see. Let's see the Skalita magic. Okay, so this is where your skalita is going to get buffed up so another thing about this comp is because uh this comp is so tanky that skalita is most of the time going to be able to charge up her skills and that's where 
Skyeta delivers in terms of damage output. Okay, Hewing gets the ultimate off. Really, really good. We spank down one person. But at the same time, because we got our heals off. Oh my god, Skyeta magic, guys. Ooh, so this is the offensive power of this, of this team. When Skyeta performs like a god, like she should. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go at two times. Yeah, I don't think I'm losing this. Because I still have all my core units alive. Although, sometimes you might just get stuck like in this small corner and Skyeta can't do anything. So... Okay, so you guys can see over here, Skyta became the true carry. So yeah, Skyta is the defensive unit. She's also the carry for the team. And yeah, that's pretty much it for Z-Store team. Hopefully this was a good explanation and showcase video. Thank you very much for tuning in. Let me know down in the comment section below what other teams you want to see or what other contents you want to see so that I can get them out for you guys to prepare for Supreme Arena. See you guys again in my next video. Bye guys.